Yo, it's your boy Jenna. In today's video, we have Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 12. And I feel like that this episode guy was probably their best episode yet. Yeah, so they're like sending all of this just for like this one big thing that's going to happen pretty soon. So yeah, let's just see what happens in this episode, guys. And they had to uh, set up a lot of things. And that is like... Well, the first thing is that they had to do Knut's plan. And if you don't know, his plan was to get Kettle's farm. And he had the idea to uh, make Omar get in trouble so he can arrest his father. And yeah, the plan, I wouldn't say it was the best plan, but... We, but I guess it was a plan, I guess. So the plan was that it, he was going to hire these guys to uh, tell uh, Omar that he was be, he was going to get rejected by uh, for, for becoming a warrior because he was really, really bad. And these guys were like trying to like, you know, be like a positive person and not like make fun of him. Well, that really failed because they're trying to tell him and it, they keep laughing and they're like hysterically laughing that he couldn't cut it like a pig right and I mean I can't really blame Omar for this because he's never been trained but then again he is like a brat he doesn't really want to be trained you know so it's kind of his fault as well yeah these guys would just keep laughing and laughing and honestly it wasn't really that funny but whatever so Omar he actually gets like frustrated by these guys who were insulting him and he got so mad that he actually like pulled off his sword and yeah things got serious there and yeah and now the guards and him Omar were in a were in a duel now because he was a weakling they decided to just get one warrior to fight him and yeah he got his ass kicked for the most part and it was kind of like really bad honestly so Omar gets knocked out and then we get to see his brother Thorgil and yeah he was giving him some good pep talk about you know getting his first kill and saying that if you don't like stand up for yourself you either die or you kill him <laughs> so yeah there's a big risk for Omar if he doesn't kill him then Thorgil might just kill him for shame the last strike so Omar he's ready to like kill this guy he charges him and the other guy charges him but then a guy in the in the crowd he throws like a penny at this guy and it hits his eye and then that's when Omar strikes him in the neck and he gets his first kill and yeah we'll go back to that later so the guys behind so yeah his friends the bodyguards friends they kind of got mad at him so they have to like you know stand up for his like dignity or something like that and there's a bunch of them so this is where Thorgo comes in and he goes like this is my turn and this dude Thorgo he just slices these guys like they're bread he was insanely crazy in this episode guys and yeah he killed a lot of people it was very brutal it's been like a couple of hours it seems like and we get to see Keto the, the dad who comes in and he finds out all this crazy commotion happening and Thorgo was saying that it was fine like duels even though duels are supposed to be illegal he, he, he still says it's fine until more like guards uh, come in but these these guards they seem like they're serious and they're like getting ready to arrest Omar and Keto but Thorgo he knew something was up so he killed more guards like there was just a slice of butter and until the last one was alive and he started like integrating him asking questions of why did they let Omar win and at first he tried to play dumb but he poked his eye out with the sword which is just crazy and he, he finally reveals uh, what was really going on and that was they're gonna pay people to uh, to mess with Omar and for him to like beat them up or for him to get so for him to kill someone so they can arrest Omar and Keto and yeah Keto was like why would I get arrested for that and yeah it didn't make sense for him to get arrested 
and yeah, they start and they and basically they became fugitives, and they start to run away. So yeah, we go back to Canute, and yeah, his he his mission kind of failed. So now they have like a reason to go to Keto's farm, and they're gonna bring like a whole lot of people to this farm to either find Keto or you know take over the farm. Whatever, whichever comes first so we know that there's gonna be like a huge fight in this farm which I cannot wait to happen or I cannot wait to see happen and then we go back to Leaf of all people and we find out that his cargo he was hiding the Keto family and yeah he made a deal with them is that he would let them escape with them but he had to give Thorgil away for free so there's that. I guess the big question is like, is is Thorkill or is Thorfinn? There's so many Thors, so sorry about that guys. <laughs> so the big question is what's gonna happen to Anar? Is he gonna just stay by himself? Or yeah, so it seems like everyone's gonna be in this farm. It's gonna be like a huge like a battle it seems like. And who's gonna win? I don't know guys. We just saw Thorgil just kill like so many people really easy I'm surprised like the Canute didn't know about this I mean this guy was his bodyguard but I guess he never saw him or do anything that crazy I don't know I find that very weird that they didn't know that this guy was this strong so there's that mistake there but overall I really enjoy they're like setting up this huge war that's going to happen in this farm and I'm sure they're gonna bring a whole lot of strong warriors and there's also Snake there, which we haven't really seen fight. But I'm sure he's like a good fighter too. And Keto maybe. I'm sure Omar might die. And I know the Thorfinn is there. So I don't know if he's going to fight no more. He's, there was a whole episode of him like wanting to like no more fighting. So we'll see what that goes. So yeah guys, that's the end of the episode. Uh, episode 13 will be a big one. I'm, I'm sure unless they do some kind of filler there. But yeah guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Peace.